Now you spoke on Instagram. Instagram is your very first social media. Yeah, ever. You never had MySpace or Twitter. I was in the street. My girl, my girl, the the, the how, how I was introduced to even knowing on Instagram. I was chilling at the crib with my girl. She was like, uh, uh, you should get an Instagram. I'm like, what's that? And then she was showing dudes like, you know, on Instagram. I think she showed me McMill Instagram. And I literally told her, I'm like, man, if I get on Instagram, that'd be cheating. They ain't gonna believe me. I literally <laughs> told her that. I swear to God. I said, that'd be cheating. They're not going to believe me. She was like, you should. This is, this is the new thing. I still didn't get on it in until the situation happened. I'm like, all right, I want to, you know, niggas making money off of this shit. And you, you said your first picture that you uploaded was the, the Lamborghini. Mm -hmm. And niggas, did people believe it, it was yours or? Man, hell no. Nah. People still don't <laughs> believe that shit now. People in my own city still believe, you know, it's all type of rumors like, oh, his daddy gave him this, his daddy gave him that, or his family this, his family that, and I'm not the one. My rumors can go to the moon because I'm never the one that clear up anything. I ain't saying nothing. You can think what you want about me. That that uh, that don't affect me because, again, I'm not worried about being in the in crowd or having some type of status with people or, you know, I don't care. Yeah. I didn't get in there for that. Yeah, why do people do that? Like, people blame you for your dad, and I'm just speaking in general, but you can do something good, but you don't get the credit for it because your dad, who who your dad is. Yeah, I mean, I had this talk with, with my homie the other day. I said, you know, anybody who's successful, they're gonna try to nitpick things about it. and. With, with with my dad being my dad at the time, I, I I wasn't who I was. It wasn't fun because it was a lot of pressure. You know, I was raised by my grandparent, my great grandparents, who was eighty six years old and eighty eight years old. So imagine the feeling that I had. Who people think that is cool? The feeling I had when I really was all the way bad, smelling like weed, got a black hoodie on, and I'm walking out the house, and they saying, "You're gonna end up just like your daddy." You get what I'm saying? That's not that wasn't a good feeling then. You know, right. if people don't know those days, you you get what I'm saying? Like, damn man, I gotta do something because of my daddy did this. Now, of course, when you win with it, you can say, Oh shit, that's because of his daddy. But it was a pressure. You get what I'm saying? I was jealous of the kids, you know, it's bad to say, but who had crack parents who really didn't have no supervision. I had to sneak around as a teenager to sell drugs. Kids that got crackhead, mom, you can blame them and you can make do. There's always going to be a secret to anybody's success. It's just how yeah. they use it. Again, just like chess, you can checkmate with every piece on the board. No matter how powerful it is, you can checkmate with two pawns. It's on how you play the game and you use your pieces. You can't blame nobody for using their pieces. Yeah, I had a, a dad. I could have been on the phone like, hey, man, I don't want to hear that OG ass nigga game. I'm out here, I'm getting high, I'm in my car, I got my jury, fuck you. You ain't give me nothing for my birthday. That would've been my mistake. You get what I'm saying? But now nah, I was smart enough to use that advice. Like, hey, I ain't trying to end up like you. So I'm gonna cut the music down and drop people off and talk to you for an hour because I know this is the only hour we probably might get in two, three more days. Mm. 